We're going to talk a little bit about Amish men and their beards. Do they represent something? And here's a question that I have. Why don't they have a mustache? We noticed that they have beards or they have no beard, but what about the mustache? Is there any significance to that? Let's dive in and find out. Now, before they do, we do that, I want to take you for a little walk down my driveway. Um, I do live out here in Amish country, but I am way out in the woods. And today I woke up and we have a flooded driveway. So I just want to give you an idea. Our driveway is about a quarter of a mile long and you can see the house in the back there. So we're not too far from it. I'm going to kind of turn around and give you a view here. All right. Oh, hope you didn't get dizzy. <laughs> there you go. We are flooded. We're not even near the creek. We're not even near the bridge. And uh, you can see we're going to be home for a while. My mom lives here and she's like, well, what do you do when it gets flooded? I go, you don't go out. Uh, my husband will drive through. He's got a great big dually truck, but I don't go out. All right, let's find out why the Amish have beards. Are they significant? Do they mean anything? And what about the mustache? One of the most significant things that you can notice about Amish men besides their clothes and their straw hat and their suspenders is that they have a beard or they don't. And many people have asked, does that mean anything? Um, is that just a preference between men or does it really mean something? Well, actually it does mean something. This is a practice that the Amish have had for many years. And basically if you see an Amish man wearing a beard, he, that signifies that he's married. So they do not share wedding rings at their, when they have the wedding. They do practice marriage vows and weddings, but they do not exchange rings. And instead, the male will start to grow out his beard, and that lets everybody else know that he's married. Now, one of the questions that has come out, well, what if a man is widowed? His wife dies and he's no longer married. Does he then shave his beard? That's an excellent question. No, he is still allowed to keep the beard and still continue to grow it to show that he had been married. And now we have another question. <laughs> what about the mustache? Why do they all shave their upper lip and nobody has a mustache? Now, I did a little bit of research and this actually comes from the 1800s when the Amish were called to military action and they refused. They are pacifist or non-resistant is the word that they used to, they, that they choose to use and they will not go to war. So what they've done is to show that they're not in the military. If you go back in history to the 1800s, British soldiers actually wore a beard and a mustache. And this was kind of like part of their dress. It doesn't happen anymore. You notice now our military are clean shaven and they even have short hair and everything. But, you know, over a couple hundred years ago, this was something that they did. This was kind of part of the uniform. And what the Amish community and the Mennonites did was they chose not to have that mustache, which kind of signified being part of the military. Again, it isn't part of the military now, but that's just a practice that they adopted a long time ago and they still carry it. And again, it, it, it also shows that, yes, we're not part of the military, but we are non-resistant. We do not engage in warfare. And there you have it, folks. Now you know all about the beards and the mustaches. And I hope you subscribe to my channel, ask any questions that you want, and I will do the research and get the answer for you. See you on the next one, and you have a blessed day.